So these are my drawings, and I'm happy to talk about them a little bit. They are um, drawings that I make on very old paper. I make paintings too, and I make uh, drawings on all different kinds of paper, new, old, but lately I've been looking for old paper, 17th, 18th, 19th century paper. And then the drawings, I think of the whole surface before I begin. I'm just trying to respond to that as a physical object with all its visual qualities. And then I draw these shapes. So the shapes I've been working with, these um, sorts of forms for many, many years, like like uh, 25 years or something. And they do not represent one thing. So they're not like a symbol or a sign. They're a form that I, my intention is that the form holds uh, multiple meanings and that the viewer can tease the meanings out for herself or himself. I would say that I am trying to create a form that has, um, it's individuated and it has a specificity of character, but you cannot name it. Um, I hope that they, they uh, carry energy and meaning, but I, I can't tell you what the meaning is. You have to experience that. Something I wanted to say that is very difficult to see, but each uh, drawing, except for one guy over there, has, there are two lines. First, I make a line with a colored pencil. Actually, sometimes first, I am tra if I'm transferring the shape from another drawing, like from a little sketchbook or something. Sometimes I, like in kindergarten, you take a little piece of tracing paper, you make a drawing, you, you, you um, put the pencil on the back and then you draw it again and you get like the impression. So sometimes I do that, but not too perfectly, just to guide me a little bit. Then a colored pencil. Then I make the drawing again, a line on top of the colored pencil, a graphite pencil. It's hard to see, but if you look really closely, you see two lines. And the reason I do that is because a kind of vibration happens between the two lines. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. And that, to me, makes it come alive. So I wish I could show you my paintings, but not today. Um, I make oil paintings. I make my own paint, oil paint, on, uh, on my own true gesso ground, like a chalk ground on a panel. And they're very simple, empty grounds, but layered. And then the shapes are located within the grounds. So I'm thinking a lot, as with the drawings, about form and formlessness, how the forms arise and dissolve back into the empty ground. But you know, emptiness, not really in the sense of Western thought, like absence or nothingness, but more in the sense of, uh, like in Hindu or Buddhist thought, that emptiness is more of a space that is charged with energy, like a space of potentiality. And from that space, forms arise. Right, so, um, so I make these paintings in my studio and I also make installations. So when I'm invited to, and it has to be just the right kind of space, not necessarily an art space, other kinds of spaces. Um, I'm kind of like a wannabe cave painter, right? So I love an old wall. So sometimes I make drawings and paintings directly onto the wall or even a window. So when I make a window piece, those are maybe the most 
um, conceptual in the sense that there's a shape sometimes within a more geometricized form and then the view of the world outside is the, I think of that as the ground of the painting the window. and the view through the window which is always changing yeah so then I would say sometimes even it's a very small shape but could be on a 30 foot wall or a whole room so one of um, aspects of my work has to do with that relationship between intimate and expansive scale and also maybe um, uh, the edge to me articulates what is within and that very maybe a very thin uh, boundary almost a permeable boundary between what's within and what's outside, right? The energy flows both ways. So I feel like I'm mediating that a little bit with the line.